first of all what you need to do is download filmora 11 of course which you can do just by clicking the link in description below so now you have to create a new project and import your required clips now for the sake of this video i'll be using a stock footage for showing how we can do speed jumping so first of all i'll drag the clip to the timeline once you dragged you may see something like this this means that if you want to change the settings of your project according to the video setting or clip setting however if you need to change this you can go here and click on change project aspect ratio where you can edit all these things once you have changed the setting you can again drag it back after deleting it so first of all we will take a look at this footage and set your mind where you have to apply speed ramping at what speed like slow or fast and all other things that you need to do now to open the edit menu you have to just double click the video clip or you can right click it and click on edit properties or even use shortcut or you can single click it and go here now once you get to this tab you will see a speed section click over that and you will see uniform speed and speed ramping if you choose uniform speed you can change the speed or you can adjust the speed of complete clip however in speed ramping you can adjust the speed to the complete clip again but you can change speed at certain points like you can make a part of clip slow and a part of clip fast so it depends which one you need so for this video we are going to do speed ramping hence we will click over it however you must get that this feature is only available for premium users or paid users and for that you need to purchase filmora 11 for that again you can go to video description for the link However, you may get a 7 days free trial for these premium features if you download Filmora 11 for free. So let's get back to the topic. So you can see here already some presets are available like montage, hero moment, bullet time, jumper, etc. However, we will be creating one for our project. So you can go to the customized menu if you want to make it by yourself and not using the pz we, we can see some adjustment points now drag your playhead to the point where you need to decrease or increase the speed of your video clip so once your playhead is adjusted click on this plus icon to add an adjustment point you can drag it up or down meaning that up is increasing speed and down is decreasing the speed you can play with that and find out the best one for you So I think this is better or even change it a little bit. You can even add one adjustment point before that so that we can adjust or maintain the level of speed prior to the slow motion. Once done you can click on OK and your speed ramping will be ready. But we have more to go ahead in the tutorial so let's see that. The next thing is that you can add as many adjustment points as you want in this clip. So I think this is better. For the next process, I'll just fast forward it so that your time is not wasted. Now in case one of your adjustment point is not correct or you want to just delete it, you can click over that point and click on the minus icon just where you'll get the plus icon. Now the next part of the video is freeze frame. If you want to freeze a particular part of the video, for example, this point of video, I want to freeze my video. Just, then what you have to do is just drag your playhead to that point and click over this snowflake kind of icon which will freeze your frames. Now you can adjust for what seconds of time like here you can get from 1 second to hundreds of seconds. So you can see the freeze frame point is like a square shape. You can even delete that one if in case. And also you can drag your freeze frame to adjust the part or uh, amount of time that you want to make it freeze. However, if you want to delete that freeze frame, then you have to just click over the square icon and again click on the minus icon. Now the thing is that you, you, you may require uh, in your certain video clips, you have to apply the same kind of speed ramp then you can just save it as your custom preset 
and something like this will be appearing you can apply to any of your video in any of your filmora project so i think your speed ramp is ready and if so do let me know in the comment section hence i'll meet you in the next video until then thanks for watching bye